Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Demi Asensio. Nearly one and a half million people have now been fully vaccinated against coronavirus in Florida. Zach Brown is in the newsroom with who's next in line to get the vaccine. Teachers are expected to be at the top of the priority list for the next round of COVID-19 vaccines. Seniors first, of course, but we're also going to be able to offer uh, for law enforcement, fire, classroom teachers uh, with those federally supported sites coming online. New vaccination sites will start opening next week. They'll administer about 2,000 shots a day. Since the start of the pandemic, educators in Florida have fought hard for protections against the coronavirus. A recent study found that 27% of American teachers are considering leaving the profession because of COVID-19. Instructors 50 and older can get their first dose at federal vaccination sites in Jacksonville, Miami, Orlando, and Tampa. DeSantis says younger teachers could get their doses as soon as more vaccines arrive, but it's unclear when that might be. In the newsroom, I'm Zach Brown. Since August, over 10,000 COVID cases have been reported in Hillsborough, Hernando, Pasco, and Pinellas County schools. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is increasing patrols in St. Pete to find the people responsible for mutilating pelicans. Reporter Emma Oliver spoke with the mayor to find out what's being done to stop them. By the Skyway Fishing Pier, pelicans are rescued on a daily basis from hooks and fishing line. But recently, pelicans have been found scalped and severely injured. The brown pelican was made the official bird of St. Pete last year, but there are growing concerns for the future of this symbolic species. I think we need to make sure that we are speaking up um, and, and standing up for those birds and others who can't speak up for themselves. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission opened an investigation on the crime. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Emma Oliver. As we near the end of Black History Month, the Hillsborough County Library wants to keep Black History alive all year long. They are inviting people to explore their collection of books by Black History makers. One of their top recommendations includes how to be anti-racist. It made headlines in recent years with the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement. They also have more than 20 movies you can watch for free, like Selma and Hidden Figures. Visit hcplc.org for more resources. Thank you for watching Florida Focus. Have a great evening.